Hello. So I've just watched the latest Ethereum developers call, uh, number 139, which was held on the 27th of May 2022. And I just wanted to give everyone a very quick update on what was discussed and uh, yeah, hopefully save you 90 minutes uh, of your life. And um, yeah, I'll just give you the very brief summary of what was discussed today. So there was probably around an hour's worth of discussions just talking around uh, the build up to the Ropstein testnet merge, which is planned to happen on the 8th of June. This is one of the initial uh, testnet merges, which is happening in the sequence up to the mainnet merge. There's going to be three testnet merges. That's Ropstein, Gorilli and Sipolia, uh, and they will be done before the mainnet merge. So this is this is the build up to the first uh, one of the main test nets, and yeah, a lot of things were discussed. Um, there was a pretty big testing issue, and what basically happened was they put a, a TTD value into the code, which, which is the total terminal difficulty, and the TTD is basically a trigger point where proof of work will be switched off and the consensus layer then will switch to proof of stake. So that's something they're testing out. Basically what happened in the uh, Ropstein code that they're um, working on is there was a rogue miner and he smashed a lot of hash rate into the um, testing they were doing and it basically accelerated the TTD uh, really really quickly and it got to a point where it switched to um, from proof of work to proof of stake and because the beacon chain had not been uh, merged uh, basically things fell over so it was kind of a fail test and look you know this is what testing is all about so so don't get me wrong you know these guys are doing the right thing by testing these issues before we go to proof of work because uh, we don't want the uh, network to fall over and you know completely die Wh whilst I am a miner. Uh, I still, um, you know, believe in the power of blockchain, and of course, you know, Ethereum is a is a key part of the ecosystem. So, you know, we we uh, appreciate you know there's a lot of testing here to be done. But yeah, that that was quite a big issue. Um, so there was a lot of discussion around this TTD, which is the total terminal difficulty, which uh, is going to, like I said, it's going to trigger the ultimate um, switch timing um, when when they move to mainnet, when it's going to move um, from proof of work to proof of stake. So there were some issues discussed and also they're doing now some coding changes to hopefully fix that. So after about an hour, um, you know, th there was some discussion around, there, there, was, there was no really hard um, talk of dates. Um, you know, there is some code being released uh, in the next few days and then the Ropstein um, testnet merge is still planned for the 8th of June. Uh, after that, then, you know, the the test that merges after that, as I mentioned, Guruli and Sepolia, uh, no hard dates, but we could expect them maybe between two to four weeks uh, after the Ropstein test that merge. And there were some dates discussed today around the earliest mainnet launch could be, I think it was mid-July, but that wasn't like an earliest date when they were sort of just weighing out other things that were happening, but there wasn't really any sense that that would be realistic. Uh so then we got to discussions and actually what I'll do, I'm, I'm just going to pause. And I just want to play you guys just a little bit of discussions they're having around some of the bugs. So just listen to this for a second. Anyone else have thoughts? Mm, I mean, what isn't done yet for the merge? Testnet deployment rollout has been bumpy. Um, I mean, Rob's plan was pretty clear that it's going to be a messy situation since it can be attacked in both ways, but uh, I guess that's kind of on us for not launching the beacon chain before setting the TPD. Right. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to stop there, but yeah, I just want to give you that sort of, uh, you know, two minute snippet there. Uh, you heard uh, them talking around, well, you know, Ropstein was bumpy, it was the words they used, uh, and it was messy, and he actually were, used the word attacked, and, you know, when they say attacked, that's with regards to what I mentioned earlier around uh, a rogue miner, if, if you'd call it that, um, pumped a lot of hash power uh, into that uh, testing arena, 
and it accelerated the number of blocks uh, and it brought the TTD um, faster um, than it was expected. So it moved to proof of stake and the beacon chain was was, was not linked or, or already. Um, so so the, the testing fell over there. So what I'm just going to do now, and I'm just going to play a little snippet um, just where some of the developers were talking about with regards to difficulty bombs. So yeah, let's just play from about here. I think uh, I think uh, Thomas was uh, speaking, one of the, the uh, developers. Let's just try and... Where do people stand regarding the bomb? Um, this up now, yeah. Yeah, Thomas, you, you have your, your hand up, so go for it. Yeah, I would ideally propose to agree today, if possible, for the bomb delay by three or four months. And just set the date when... So team, fellow miners, I got a little bit excited with that. So they mentioned three or four months. So let's see what happened. And we introduced that to the clients. Um, anyone else have thoughts on this? Uh, ben? Uh, I, I don't want to advocate for moving the bomb because um, I just want to keep the pressure up to get this thing done. However, if we are doing Paris um, early along with Bellatrix, that does give an opportunity without a separate hard fork to uh, set back the bomb by a small amount. Three, four months, I think, is is uh, giving ourselves too much of an out. I think we need to keep the pressure on, but a couple of weeks, uh, at least take the heat off the block time on um, on mainnet. Got it. Uh, Andrew? Oh, you're on mute, Andrew. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry. I agree with you, Thomas. Uh, I think we should uh, delay the bomb by three or four months and uh, just uh, do it. And uh, the, if the match happens uh, earlier, then, then great, because we, we shouldn't like put pressure for the sake of pressure. We should uh, test it thoroughly. It's a big change. Uh, the, some, some pressure is good, but not too much. Like, yeah, I, I would say three, three, four months. And uh, it doesn't mean that the merge is delayed by that much amount. Okay, so yeah, so just following on uh, from what Thomas said, I think uh, Andrew and uh, Ben, on the the developers on the call, also supported the three to four month uh, delay. Um, went around the grounds a bit further. Uh, some other developers mentioned uh, two months. Uh, and it's interesting, and look, it's good to have, I guess, different, um, you know, thought leadership, I guess, on the dev team. But, you know, a few of the devs were very anti-delaying the bomb and really uh, kind of dug their heels in a little bit for, for, for no delay. Let's just go to 20 seconds plus block times, you know, and it's it's an interesting looking at, it, you know, whilst, you know, a lot of people think this decision is all about the miners, um, you know, and look, miners are supporting the network, and when you know Ethereum's no longer proof of uh, work, you know, we'll mine other coins. Uh, you know, if the network starts to slow down, transactions, um, you know, will we'll get will get hindered, will get delayed, gas fees go up. It's not really a good user experience for the network. So I think that's, from my view, what the devs should be really focusing on about, you know, maintaining your experience. You know, I, I say it, and I say this again. You know, the difficulty bomb. Um, delay and the ETH uh, Ethereum merge day are 100% mutually exclusive. So if you delay the bomb, it has no impact on the date of the merge. If you delay the bomb for two years, the merge could happen in two months. Uh, so, you know, I think decoupling this discussion or, or, or these two items would be beneficial. But I, look, I do think there are reasons why the bomb is kept there my personal reason um that i believe is because they just want to protect against um if they delay the bomb for a long time uh, potentially some rogue um, developers could take a copy of the code with a long bomb time which then gives them time to defuse the bomb and have a very latest up-to-date proof of work ethereum which then could become a competitor to ethereum proof of stake down the track that's my personal thought but i think it's actually a very strong reason why some of the developers um wish to keep the bomb and let the block times blow out the gas fully jump up and, and the network starts to slow down doesn't sound like really what you know 
anyone should be doing to customers or users of the network, but um, so be it. But like, like, like you know, you did hear, you know, I would say the majority of developers were up for two to three to four month delays. I think uh, one of them said that um, send pressure is good, but not too much pressure. You know, they don't want to give a hassle or interfere too much with testing, which I think is another good reason to delay the bomb. So was there a decision made today? There wasn't. You know, the next 20 minutes of the call are really sort of going around the grounds, a bit more discussion. Uh, where they got to is uh, someone requested someone to put forward any super strong reasons why they should not delay the bomb. So it seems like uh, my expectation is in the next week or so, there might be, and it might be on the consensus layer call, which happens next week. So basically, there's a call dev meeting every two weeks uh, and alternates with a consensus layer call um, every two weeks alternating. So my expectation is in the next week, there could be an announcement that the difficulty bomb uh, will be delayed and some code will be added. They talked about code being added when they're going to do uh, I think it was a Paris um, code change and also Bellatrix. And um, so there's a, some other code they're doing around Ropstein. And so they may, you know, implement the Diffity Bomb uh, extension uh, in the next few weeks uh, that will kick in then down the track. And this is a big point of discussion as well, is uh, they, they were basically saying, you know, if we decide to delay the bomb, it could take, you know, two to three, four weeks for it to be actually active. Um, so they should make a decision sooner rather than later. Otherwise, delaying the decision then might have a, a bigger um, you know, knock-on effect. So guys, that's my wrap-up. So look, in summary, there has been some testing issues, um, specifically around um, some rogue miners, acceler- uh, you know, increased the hash power significantly, accelerated the TTD, which, which meant the proof of work to proof of stake happened sooner and before the beacon chain was ready and the testing failed going to be fixed but has been testing issues the merge date's still a little bit gray the earliest date could be mid-july but i think that would realistically be around august and i would say is a range for me personally and this is not financial advice but i would say sometime like i i kind of feel late august through to maybe sometime october november is probably realistic so you know i i still personally feel september is probably going to be a date when when it might happen you remember some of the developers were talking about three to four months well you know to get it all done so what's that may june july august september so yeah i'm i'm going to say around septemberish is my expected mainnet merge date and difficulty bomb there were some strong opinions around the ground seems consensus was to delay three or four months but no decision made so guys watch this space i hope you found this uh useful uh you you don't need to watch the whole dev call now which is 19 minutes but i will put the link in down below i uh, appreciate if you can yeah give some comments feedbacks likes and a uh, please subscribe and if you haven't seen already i am doing a um i'm calling it the eth countdown giveaway and on the 8th of june which is the date of the ropstein testnet merge i'm going to be picking three of my subscribers uh, as long as we're over a thousand subscribers and i'm going to be giving away 30 Super Zero, 20 Conflux, and 10 Flux. So yeah, good luck with that, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.